9 p.m. Friday evening. The weekend's just beginning in Portland, Oregon, but it's no party at the Multnomah County Detention Center. The officers here are on the front lines, keeping dangerous criminals off the street. When's the last time you shot up? Uh, Leave your hands on the counter, walk your feet back to the edge of the mat. Yes. All right, you have no weapons, shop objects, any drugs, any kind of program? Nope. Everybody arrested in the city of Portland tonight will end up here to be booked, whether they like it or not. F you. <laughs> Don't touch me! Don't touch me! For deputies, that means facing off with arrestees who may be angry and aggressive, like this young woman, who allegedly assaulted her boyfriend and some total strangers during a drinking binge. <laughs> the officer's challenge, get every arrestee under control. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. Don't touch me. A hazardous job when so many offenders are not just violent, but drug addicted and mentally ill. Deputy Bledsoe is a 12-year veteran who often mans the booking counter, the first stop for intake and processing for all arrestees. Bledsoe's learned to expect anything. Oh, no, every night's different. You can't predict at the beginning of the shift how, how the night's going to go. I mean, we could use as a force. It could be a quiet night. We have no problems. And then sometimes we have to fill all these cells up back here. Bledsoe will routinely see 100 individuals pass through here on a single day. This county jail is one of the busiest in the country, booking 45,000 people a year. Just put your hands on the end of the counter, walk your feet back to the end of the mat, spread them out. Bledsoe and the other deputies need to be on constant alert, since all the arrestees wait for their mug shots and further processing in a big open space. It's like any other waiting room, except it's filled with people accused of everything from drunk driving to disorderly conduct to theft and assault. Surprisingly, they're not cuffed or restrained in any way. It's part of a policy intended to help reduce stress during booking. But over two-thirds of the arrestees are drug users. And many are high on crystal meth, a drug that can produce psychotic outbursts. Hey, hold up, man. Hold up, man. Hold up. One of them could blow at any time and attack an officer as Shift Sergeant Gordon knows all too well. The ultimate challenge for us is maintaining a certain level of safety and security because we don't have cages to put these people in. They're out in the open. They're out in an area where anything can happen at any time. Sergeant Gordon and the deputies always go unarmed. That way, no weapon ever gets into the wrong hands. So all they have to protect themselves are their wits and a zero tolerance for any kind of resistance. Okay, you can let go of my pants and I'll do it, but you gotta look. I'm not letting go now. It's what keeps them safe from harm. I'm, I'm here for a drink in a public ticket. You need to turn no, around and be I'm quiet. not gonna. You're not gonna I'm here on a warrant for drinking in public. I drank a beer on the sidewalk. This is what the I'm saying. You understand me? Yeah, you, you want to cooperate with us, sir, it's gonna go bad. You understand? Okay, I give up. I give up. Are you gonna behave? Right. Yeah, okay, okay. You're gonna give you a chance to fail. When people come to jail, when they get arrested, they're mad. When they come to jail, they're angrier. And when they come in here and we start invading their close personal space, they get even more angry. That booking counter is probably one of the most volatile places in the facility when it comes to physical encounters with an inmate.